While early voting is already underway in that so-called race to replace in the 26th Congressional District, the regular election is set for next Tuesday, April 30th. Channel 2's Ron Plants questioned both candidates again today with their different approaches to winning that seat as this region's newest representative in Washington, D.C. After 14 years in Albany, preceded by time in Erie County Hall, Tim Kennedy can count on his recognition factor, now boosted by TV ads in the heavily Democratic district, and literally bank on his prodigious ability to raise campaign funds. I don't take anything for granted. Uh, I know that we have to get our vote out there, and I believe that uh, the vision that I've set forward has resonated. Some people may claim you're bought and paid for because a lot of interest have contributed to your campaigns through the years. What do you say to those people that say, look, Tim Kennedy, you know, is just a fundraising guy. That's basically what he does. I'm really proud of all of the hundreds of individuals that have supported me over this process that have stepped up and said they want a government that's more reflective of the people. They want a government that is functional. Now, after four years as West Seneca Town supervisor and his reelection, Former FBI agent Gary Dixon is mounting a much lower volume campaign, appealing to voters with a self-proclaimed frugal approach to government spending. But he has brought a lot of resources back into our community. So some people are going to say he's doing a good job doing that. Again, he's doing a great job wasting our money. Billions of dollars. And, and how much has the state budget gone up in just a few short years since he's been there? All politicians are going to say nice things. What have they actually done? When I say I'm going to control spending, I control spending. When I say I'm going to not increase taxes, I don't increase taxes. My opponent clearly doesn't know me very well. The bottom line is uh, I have been a public servant. What you'll hear from me is how have we improved things for our residents? Of course, both candidates frustrated with the current climate in Congress, which makes it very difficult to accomplish much on national policy right now, especially the southern border and immigration. Dixon, the Republican, says President Biden could do more to fix the situation. Kennedy, the Democrat, says Congress should have passed that bipartisan immigration reform bill. On your side, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.